our first response is, are you okay? Are your students okay? Is anyone hurt? The other motorist, how are they? Anytime an Escambia County school bus is involved in a crash, Transportation Director Darlene Hart runs through her standard checklist with drivers. We then alert the safety and training manager or route manager, depending on the time of day. We send that person out as we're contacting FHP. Uh, we contact EMS if there are injuries. We send out the message to let parents know that your child has been in an accident. We will be transporting them home shortly. It's happened a lot lately. FHP reports nine school bus wrecks across three Northwest Florida counties in 2023, including three in Escambia County this week alone. I can't go over a railroad track today and not be, you know, thinking someone's going to hit the back of me. I'm Quadarius Jones and I've been driving a school bus for nearly five years now. You can tell they're trying to beat the bus because it's a quick head turn, head turn, let me go. Cordarius Jones, better known worldwide as Mr. Bus Driver, was involved in a crash two days before Christmas break when a truck hit his bus from behind at a high speed. First thing I made sure, hey, is everybody all right? I checked this, um, assessed the scene. The guy was outside of his truck. Fortunately, he was all right. And immediately I got out my accident roster and started checking off kids. Hey, are you okay? Circle yes, circle yes. Weeks after the wreck, the debris was still in the road. And it, again, it just, it traumatized me. Another issue districts run into after the fact are anxious parents waiting to take their child off the bus. But the protocol prevents this. Parents want to come to the scene and they want to take their student. Well, we can't release students. FHP has to arrive on scene, investigate, clear the scene, and they are the ones who release the student. We'll tell them, hey, if you, you're more than welcome to go to your child's bus stop, I promise you we're going to bring them. But as of taking them off the bus right now, we can't do that. Florida Highway Patrol investigates all traffic crashes involving school buses. Lieutenant Jason King says the numbers may appear small but not when you consider the precious cargo on board. So across the troop, which is 10 counties, uh, we're probably seeing an average of, I'd say one a month, one to two a month. When you see this school bus full of kids, that, that's our future leaders of America. And we got to take care of these kids. And that starts with good safety and traffic safety around buses. 